What's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. Mid Journey V5 has been launched or V5 Alpha has been launched for users to test and in this video I am going to show you how you can access Mid Journey V5 and what are all the steps involved until we create a nice image using Mid Journey V5. So first thing to keep in mind is Mid Journey V5 is not available for users who are on trial. So if you have been using Mid Journey Discord and if you are not a paying customer, if you are not a subscriber you cannot access mid journey v5 so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to midjourney.com slash account midjourney.com slash account and then you need to go buy a plan buy the basic plan or standard plan or pro plan whatever plan that you would like to get but you need to have a plan so i've got a base basic basic plan that i just got so the basic plan comes up with a 200 approximately 200 image creations and then you know you get like three hours fast hours but again, it has, uh, if you want to generate more, you can go to the next plan standard plan. So but for now, let's say you need to go to midjourney.com slash account and then buy a plan. First, you need to have a plan. Once you have a plan, the next thing is, let's say we, okay, b before even, you know, looking at the next step, let's see what is in the V5 model. So this is an alpha testing. And uh, if you want to turn on the model, there are two ways. I'll show it in the video how to do that. So what is in this model? So this is the base model, like first time, whatever you are going to get from this, you it's not like this is exactly what is going to happen when the actual V5 model is there. But uh, this is basically alpha testing. So it has much wider stylic range, uh, stylistic range, and it is more responsive to prompting. Image quality is high, dynamic range is high, and uh, the details are really good. Um, and uh, we have already seen a video where I actually went through a bunch of mid journey v5 images and i said like these are mind blowing so we can create those mind blowing hyper realistic super realistic images using mid journey and one of the reasons why people use mid journey is because you just have to give a simple prompt not a lot of prompt engineering is required unlike you know stable diffusion or dali or something does anybody remember dali okay dali exists in the open AI world so anyway so this is uh, basically a pro mode like basically they are testing this model and uh, you can check, um, you can also compare the results between V5, V4, all those things. Now that we know what is V5, how did they get to this model? So this is their second model that is trained on their own AI super cluster. It has been like, they have been working on it for five months and they're saying that this uses a totally different neural architecture and new aesthetic techniques. Not sure what does it mean? Are they using still stable diffusion and building on top of it? I have no clue. If you have never used Midjourney, first thing you need to do is you need to log into Midjourney Discord. There are multiple ways to do it. You can do discord.gg slash midjourney or you, in fact, you can go to midjourney.com and if for the first time it will invite you, click accept invite. Once you click accept invite, it is going to take you into the onboarding page of midjourney. And uh, if you have been already onboarded, like if you have accepted everything, then you are good to go with midjourney. So now one of the things that I usually do is I enter into any of this um, newbie newcomer room and from there I start generating images. Also, if you are a paid subscriber, you get access to Midjourney bot. So you can send, actually you can private message the bot, like you can, there is a bot here, which will be available only if you are a paid subscriber. So you get access to this bot and then you can now communicate, like you can generate images with the bot. I'm not going to show you the bot part, but that's something for you to keep in mind. So going back to Midjourney channel and going, joining one of these newbie rooms, I'm going to first do slash settings. So I'm going to do slash settings. Once I do slash setting and then press enter and then send it double time enter, then it is going to give me a bunch of settings. It tells me that what are all the models that I can use. I can use MJ1, MJ2, MJ3, MJ4, MJ5. So here I can set, I want MJ5. I can literally say I want MJ5 or MJ4 and that is what is going to be used all the time. So if I say five, it's going to be five all the time. You can see that it is going to use the current suffix dash dash v space five or if it is four you know i don't have to use anything by default v4 is there so after i set here anytime i generate an image this model mj v5 is going to be used that's one option the second option is let's say you're going to keep the mj4 uh, is as your default what you can do is anytime you want to generate a prompt like in this case i'm going to do slash imagine and i'm going to say uh, realistic portrait of a young Indian girl and I'm going to just say dash dash V space five. 
and I can send this now. So now when I do this thing, it's going to actually generate an image using V5. So this way you can compare V5 and V4. Like when you send it with that suffix, it is going to be V5. When you send it without that suffix, it is going to be mid journey V4. So that way you have like multiple ways to actually uh, access the mid journey V5 model. So now we have already sent the prompt. Once we have sent the prompt, it is going to take a little bit of time. You can see that it is actually generating. It also says that because I've got three hours of active, uh, the fast time generation because I'm a paid member now. So you can see that it is giving me, um, it's showing me the time and it is generating the image. After this image is generated, now there are certain things that you can do. Typically in a V4 image, you can do upscaling and other things, but those things are not going to be available in a V5 image. That's what I've been told. So what we can do is we can use the same exact prompt. Now we have not used a seed value. So seed is not included, but we can use the same exact prompt for a V4 image and then see how that looks. As you can see, V5 is a little slower. Um, it's not as fast as V4. Typically mid journey is not this slow, but, but again, like I think everybody seems to be super excited about. So we have now all the images that we want. There is only final 7% that has to be finished. And if it is done, we are going to have the image. I should say I am super impressed by the skin tone. Um, I, I think I was recently talking to somebody else and I mentioned this thing, like I have a very dark skin tone, but when you see on videos, you might not know how dark I am because um, a lot of these cameras actually overdo or try to lighten up that dark uh, tone and they don't do it very well. So, but, but I am super, super impressed. You can see here. So you can see these images like these are like, um, these are good pictures. These are actually good pictures. I don't know why all these pictures, everybody looks always sad, but these are good pictures. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the same thing, but using V4, I'm not going to give any model. So I'm going to use the same prompt slash imagine. And I'm going to say realistic portrait of young Indian girl. And that's it. Just send this. So now we can compare this with this image and the previous image. So we, we get to know how it was, um, how, how it is. And another good thing when you go to these channels is that you can actually get to know what kind of images people are generating and what prompts are they're using. I just love mid journey discord channel. One of the reason is because I've learned a lot of prompting techniques just going through prompts here. So that has, um, that has always given me um, new understanding, new learning about what kind of prompts these days people try. And you can see a lot of people generating logos in this video. At least we are not going to generate logos because we are focusing on V5, but yeah. So that's another thing that you would see a lot of people, like a lot and lot of people doing it. You can see this image is like quite a cartoonish image. Let me open the image in a new tab. And let me go back and then find the image that we generated, open the image in new tab. So if you compare these two images, I honestly would prefer V5 because I can see, um, like it, this one almost looks like, you know, you've taken white people's image and then try to apply a skin tone on top of it, like to just make it dark because I asked for Indian, but here actually I can see the skin tone being more realistic. At least like, that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same thing, but you like, I'm, I'm like I said before, I've been super impressed with V5. Um, so one of the things that I was very excited about V5 is uh, food images. They, they make like absolutely brilliant food images. So what we are going to do is we are going to try a food image. I want to say, imagine a beautiful Japanese sushi with diet Coke near it. V5. So just note the dash dash V space five. There are more arguments and parameters that you can pass, but we are currently just doing a simple prompt with V five. So I just had a beautiful Japanese sushi, sushi diet Coke near it. Um, ideally this is not a very good prompt. Like I could have said, you know, close up shot, um, an Instagram photo. I could have, I could have like added a lot more attributes to the picture in itself to make it really more clear. But my idea here is that how V5 does when the prompt is like literally so simple and we are going to compare it with V4 as well. So I'm going to send the same thing. So I'm going to say slash imagine, imagine kids are playing with mid journey. It seems V. So this is going to be V4 
and this is v5 and let's see so just to quickly recap while this is loading in this video we learned about first mid journey v5 that you need to have paid access like subscriber access then we learned about some of the advantages that got then we learned about how to enable v5 using two options one is the settings option slash settings the second one is to add uh, like a parameter here like an argument that would say it is v5 and uh, yeah we started generating two images one is the first one is like the indian girl image and now we are trying a food image which is like seems like mid journey v5 is really killing it and uh, then the next thing is oh my goodness this is this is done um okay now let's again compare it i think um if i want to compare it it at least like looks i can say like a huge difference um maybe maybe there is so okay so this is v4 okay so i said uh, i want a beautiful japanese sushi with a diet coke um it's definitely not diet coke uh, they are trying to slap a japanese sticker on it i can understand i confused the ai but you can see that these images are not definitely like instagramable images like it's not like i can take this image and put it on instagram but on the other hand look at this sushi this looks exactly like i went to a fine dining restaurant and then i just clicked the picture look at the shadows look at the lighting i think it's absolutely brilliant in the way it looks and um, this is exactly what everybody has been talking about with respect to mid journey v5 that that the real realism that it brings to the images is quite amazing so this takes us to the end of this video i would definitely do like a slight more in depth review of mid journey v5 like a lot of comparisons let me know what you want me to compare or if you have any prompt that you want me to generate but for now in this video you learned how to access mid journey v5 and also generate some images i hope this was helpful to you see you in another video happy prompting